Welcome back viewers. In today's video, I want to show you how the update system works in Angular OS. So I got a notification in the morning that some upstream updates are available. They are numbered in 30. So they are numbering around 30 and they are available for uh, installation. So these upstream updates are available through the EOS update using the YAY AUR helper. So they must be available in the AUR repositories and those can be applied using this update system EOS update. So either you can use this or you can click on this. Both will work. So I am going to click on this on the notifications and let us see what happens. So I think the notification, uh, okay, it should work. Okay, what we will do is we will just wait another half a minute to see if the notification, clicking on notification will activate the terminal and the update will start. No, I think it is not working. So this is the way to experiment with the system to know more about the behavior of the system. So clicking on the notifications does not work. The notification has also disappeared. So now what we can do is we already know that the 30 up, uh, upstream updates are available through the EOS update. So for that you have to open the welcome screen and you have to hit here. So that opens up the terminal and you have to input your password. So here you can see I will just enlarge this. It will show the 30 upstream updates that are available for installation. So these are those updates. So some extra packages have got some updates. The uh, PyPyre Alsa, PyPyre Audio, PyPyre Jack, PyPyre Pulse, Python, Samba Client, T event that is the timer events, Wayland Protocols, Endeavor OS has got an update. Extra who is who is nothing but a package to uh, know about the user. So what privileges he has got, all those kind of things. Uh, to which group he belongs in the administration uh, system of the your endeavor OS. Then there are some updates to the Ansa card profiles, EOS apps info, EOS bash shared, GST plugin pipewire, highway, lib pipewire, and the lib uh, Wayland uh, WB, maybe it's Wayland, I don't know. WB client, Linux is there, Linux headers, the kernel has got updates. So Zen kernel is getting updated along with the Zen headers. The Mesa has got updates. So there are all system critical updates are there so you should not uh, keep those updates pending otherwise what happens is if you don't do the updates for maybe one month or two months all those will get collected and then uh, if you do the update or upgrade and you reboot into the system you might face some problems because what happens is the newer and newer packages come for the updates you are not already installed the older packages so then there is uh, the versioning clash happens and then the system uh, becomes unstable. So whenever you are using Arch, you have to do the update. At least do the update once uh, in a week or at least in 15 days you have to do the update. Otherwise uh, you might face problems with the functioning of your system. So we will say yes to the in, uh, installation. And after this updates are done, we will have to reboot the system compulsorily because the Linux uh, kernel has got an update. And there are some packages which are directly affecting the critical system uh, of the NDOS. So we require to reboot the system. And anyway, it will also suggest us to reboot the system. I will show you how the system will know whether the reboot is required or not. And it will display the message to update.
So now you can see the DKS, DKMS module is getting updated and reinstalled. You can see here already the reboot is recommended notification has come up on the screen. So we have to wait for the installation to complete. Yes, so installation has now completed. You can see it here. So we'll just hit enter button to close this window. And now we can reboot the system. Let us try to hit on the notification whether it works and reboot the system. Let us see. No, it is not working. So what we will do is we will just uh, reboot the system and i will now stop the video here see you in the next video with some another functionality of ndvr os bye bye